Emperor Palpatine was the ultimate old school baddie in a galaxy far, far away. And based on recent posters, trailers, and rumors for Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, Emperor Wrinkleface will be making a comeback. No. 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 Yes, yes, yes. On this IMD brief, we explore the history of Palpatine and what his return might involve in the final chapter of the Skywalker saga. Star Wars Episodes 1 through 3 followed Sheev Palpatine, also known as Darth Sidious, the evil Sith Lord who disguised himself as the senator of his home planet Naboo and eventually became the Supreme Chancellor of the Galactic Republic. This, along with his crazy Electro Ticklers, gave him the power to destroy the Jedi Council and take over the galaxy. <laughs> With that power, he reigned supreme over the Empire in episodes four through six, before his apprentice, Darth Vader, threw him to his shocking death. Or so we thought until we saw the first trailer for Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker and heard this familiar cackle. <laughs> The rumor was made carbonite solid by Lucasfilm president Kathleen Kennedy, who confirmed that Palpatine's return has been in the works for quite some time. And recently, director J.J. Lindsflare Abrams defended the decision, stating that there was a need to bring the character back, to make all nine films in the saga feel like one epic story. Come on, you must have a thousand questions. Well, actually just one question. How did Palpatine survive the deadly fall or come back to the land of the living? Though he might simply return as a force ghost like so many dead Jedi, there are some more interesting potential answers in Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith and the recent canon Star Wars comics. You ever hear the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise? In Revenge of the Sith, Palpatine tells future Vader, Anakin Skywalker, about his master, Darth Plagueis, who was a Sith Lord so powerful that he could use the dark side to create life or keep those that he loved from dying. Unfortunately, he taught his apprentice everything he knew. Then his apprentice killed him in his sleep. That's a weird way of saying thanks. But anyway, with this rare Sith ability, it's possible that Palpatine could have kept himself alive after he appeared to have fallen to his death during the climax of Return of the Jedi, then slowly regained his power and kept himself busy by building a Sith trooper army until the rise of Skywalker. Everything is proceeding as I have foreseen. <laughs> But if that doesn't fill your back to tank, another explanation comes from the pages of the recent Darth Vader comic series written by Charles Soule, in which Palpatine gives Vader the helmet of a long dead Sith Lord named Darth Momin, who right before his death possessed the helmet with his dark side powers. You don't know the power of the dark side. Anyone who wore Darth Momin's headgear would be overtaken by his spirit. And since Palpatine freely admitted to his apprentice that he had learned many Force secrets from studying the artifact, he could also be capable of possessing an object, maybe even Darth Vader's helmet, which is now in the private collection of everyone's favorite high-waisted emo lord, Kylo Ren. This ability to possess objects and unsuspecting pawns could also explain the appearance of Darkseid Rey in the Rise of Skywalker trailer, as she could be a vessel for Palpatine's spirit. But we'll have to wait until December 20th when the film is released to know for sure. I've been waiting for this day for a long time. For more Star Wars news and intergalactic info, stay tuned to imdb.com slash imdbrief. No.